Hi friends, how are you? This is the Call Donut speaking and welcome to some Arena Brawl on the Hypixel server. Basically this is a game where you have a set of skills, uh, attack skills, defense skills, things like that. In my case I have um, Lightning Strike, which is pretty self-explanatory, a Barricade, uh, which is also self-explanatory, a Healing Totem, which creates this structure that will give me 300 health every few seconds until it is destroyed, and then I have an ultimate skill which increases my movement speed and my uh, attack damage with my sword called Berserk. Basically, I'm trying to use these skills to take down enemy players, and uh, the last player standing wins. That's about all there is to it. So I am pretty much destroying this person in 1v1 competition right here. Um, I think it's really great that Hypixel released this game mode because if you don't have a friend to play with and you don't feel like being put at a disadvantage by not being in a Skype call with um, your other player, it can be really helpful to just get to go play in a 1v1 match. And frankly, we're wrecking right now. We're going to go get the double damage and pretty much finish this person off. There we go. And one more strike should do it. Done. All right. So that was pretty quick. There you go. Now you understand how the game works if, uh... Oh, dang it, I didn't get that. So there you go, guys. If you didn't know uh, how Arena Brawl worked, that was a quick explanation. You saw how I was using my Lightning Strike, at least. I didn't have to use the Barricade, but I'm pretty sure you guys can infer what that would do. Healing Totem, you saw, it was the pair of Brewing Stands that were healing me. And there you go. That's pretty much all there is to it. We're basically just going to try to take down this other person who happens to have Fireball as their offensive skill. Come on. Let's go. Come on. Come on. Oh, it's a pretty close fight. Uh, come on. Come on. There we go. Good. Yep. We're not winning anymore. This is not good. Okay, I might have to go barricade heal in a second. Let's run. Run, 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 run. Run, 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 run. Barricade, barricade, barricade. Okay, we made it. We're safe. We can heal up. Okay. There we go. Let's go get the healing power up. Bam. And now we are pretty much good to go with the extra health. Here we are. Come on. I don't think crits work in this, do they? Pretty sure they don't. Come on. Come on. Let's go. Get back here. Just a couple more hits. Come on. There we go. Just got to keep chasing. No, they're going to get double damage, but that's okay because they still have to run. This is going to be bad, but I think we can survive it and pull it out here. Ooh, that did a lot of damage, though. I don't know if we're going to make it. Um, oh, we're good. We're good. Just a couple more hits here. That was smart, using bull charge to run away, but there's no chance. Boom! Two straight wins. Nice. All right. GG. Okay, so there we are. Uh, something that I can show you guys, if I come back over here, you'll see I have a key on my scoreboard. If I open this magical chest, I can get something. And I got a wizard hat, okay. Uh, I think we equip that in the shop. How do I use this? Um, okay. So it looks like it just, um, says stuff in the chat when you wear this hat. Okay. I'm not gonna wear it, though. Because when you play 2v2, um, wearing a hat distinguishes you more from the, pl uh, the person that's on your team. And that allows uh, the opposing team to focus one player more easily. Uh, like, that's what I do when I play with someone else. Um, we choose one person to go after, and if their uh, heads are pretty distinct, it's much easier to remember who you're hitting and make sure you're, uh, that you're attacking the right person. So... That's just a little strategy tip for you guys. Try to um, avoid using hats unless they give some sort of bonus. I think it's all cosmetic, though. So, really, if your skins are fairly similar, um, 
then don't wear hats, but if you have the same hat, you could do that and then try to keep the enemies from being able to focus one of you, uh, one of you guys. So, that's my little tip. Uh, that's what I do. Anyway, come on. Let's go. Come on. This is actually a really great game mode. I, I like this uh, 1v1 stuff. And they have some cool maps. I like this one. It's really good. Lots of stained clay. I like it. There we are. Okay. I have a feeling that most of the people in 1v1 are going to have more leather default gear. Um, I have pretty close to default gear. Berserk, which is my ultimate skill, which I have not used yet, guys. And uh, Lightning Strike are things I've bought, but pretty much everything else is just default equipment. And you'll see on the chat there that I uh, damaged the healing totem by hitting it. Healing power up spawned. Let's grab it. Done. And this key, I'm pretty sure just gives us a key in the lobby to open more magical chests. So we could maybe get actual gear from those. I think it's usually hats though. So, oh, double damage spawned. We can win if we get this. Yep. There we go. We've pretty much won the game now. Yeah, one more hit and he's gone. Come on, don't run out, double damage. Come on, come on, yes! All right, that was close. The double damage almost wore off and then it would have been longer to take him down. Anyway, as I was saying, I do think uh, most of the time... 156 coins, nice, okay. That's actually really awesome. I don't want a hat. I like getting coins, that's, that's great. Um... I do think that typically you're going to see, I mean, this guy's an exception, but typically you're going to see more leather people, uh, and by leather I mean default uh, kits, if you will, in the game, uh, in 1v1, because if you really are into this game and you're trying to, you know, rack up a nice kill streak, stuff like that, you're typically going to go for, oh my gosh, this guy has so much health. He's getting some sort of crazy regen thing. I don't think we're going to beat him, but usually if you're really into this game and you want to get a nice kill streak, what you're going to do is probably, um, you're probably going to, you know, have someone you play with regularly so that you can get nice kill streaks. Um, or at least that's how I would expect it to go. Uh, more people who are serious about the game in the 2v2s, which are ranked games anyway. Oh, we're, oh, dang it, he got that which are the ranked games, and uh, also, uh, you get coins from those. Like, you don't get win streak credit, I think, for 1v1. You can still get, like, magical keys and stuff, but you don't pick up, um, you don't pick up any coins or win streaks from playing in, oh my gosh, does this guy really have Broodmother? Uh, so you know, guys, that's pretty much the single most OP ultimate skill in the game. You spawn a crap ton of spiders. It's really OP. And kind of ridiculous, um, to be honest. Can we survive? Oh, we got some health back. We have a chance. If double damage spawns, that's an opportunity to get back in the game. Double damage spawned right over here. Let's get it. Oh, no. Oh, that was a smart strategy. I did not see that coming. But that was really, really smart. I was thinking, why isn't he getting this? I did not even think about the fact that he's waiting for me to show up so that he can get the most use out of it. Like, basically, he just camped there on the double damage so that when I showed up, um, he could just grab it and take me down. That's usually not how I play it because I usually expect the other person to be running straight at the double damage. But he actually had a great strategy there. Wait to activate it until the other player is nearby so you can get the most use out of it. Barricade them in with you. That was just, like, this guy must play a lot because he is great at this. And also, if you notice, guys, uh, he had 88 extra health. That is hard to get because um, I think it's like 10 health per health upgrade, which is something you can buy with coins. And it's pretty expensive, like several hundred coins to do it at least. So this guy is one of those guys that probably plays a lot, probably usually does 2v2 with somebody else that he regularly plays with. Um, but this time, you know, he just wanted to play some Arena Brawl for fun, so he went into the 1v1 lobbies. Anyway, I don't know if we're going to get enough players. We're stuck on four right now. Um, five, okay. 
Oh, there we go. Never mind. I was about to make a cut. Um, that's why I said never mind. I was gonna start doing my little spiel. You know, I'll see you back. I'll, I'll bring you guys back in when the game begins. I got caught between I'll bring you back in and I'll see you. So, hence, I, I'll see you back. Very, very strange. I'm not gonna lie. Alright, so here we go. This guy has lightning strike too. I'm a little worried about his particle effects. I don't know if they're cosmetic or if they're from some ability he has I don't know about. Um, which could be a bit of a problem. So far, though, we're pretty competitive with this guy. We're staying pretty even. He's going on the top, which gives him a bit of an advantage. Oh, I got the healing power up. Nice. And the magical key power up. Come on. So I think that's pretty cool, you know? You can get some keys uh, to use in the lobby. Because really, keys are so expensive and they're so unreliable that people are unlikely to get keys normally. So it's really nice when you can get more of them. Oh, that's how the saying, uh, the sayings are, uh, expressed in-game. It's not with, uh, chat, it's actually above the player's head. I, like, caught a glimpse of a gold piece of text. Ooh, I'm so close to dead, I need to run and hide. Let's go hide. Oh, gosh. Hide. Heal. This is the problem with barricade. You can actually get rushed in from the top. Um... We're doing fine. Oh, we have the advantage now. Get the double damage. Berserk. Give me that speed boost. Give me that speed boost. Come on. Get him. Yes. There we go. Took him down. All right. GG. Oh. I didn't have time. Oh, well. There we go, though. Uh, that was another win. We have another key, actually, so let's go use that. See what we pick up. 11 coins. That was actually pretty darn bad. I can see why better luck next time uh, would be appropriate for that. But 156, I mean, if you pick up a key just from, uh, you know, actual gameplay, as opposed to buying it with uh, coins or win streaks, which you can do, um, then I would say 156 coins is awesome because it gets you well on your way to um, getting new skills and things like that which you can't do otherwise in 1v1 because you don't get any win streaks, which are what you use to get coins in this game. So I would say it's pretty awesome. Uh, I need to back up. Oh, this guy has fireball. Okay, I wasn't even paying attention. I was just hearing the sounds as I was running back. Yeah. Alright, so he has Fireball. And we are kind of owning him because Fireball... Oh, where is it? It's on the other side, right? Please? Oh, is it not? Oh, he got it. I just read the chat. Okay. Usually that spawns with a key, too. Strange. Okay. Okay, so we're doing pretty good. He's about even with us, though. So I'm a little unsure how well this is going to go for us. Okay, we're taking the lead. Definitely. Oh, double damage. No. Oh, dang. I need to get out of here. Berserk. I need to, I need the speed boost. Okay, it's not working. Oh, now it works. Now you decide to work? Okay. There we go. Healing totem down. Okay, I'm attacking him while my berserk is still active, then running back to my totem. Come on. Dang, I was right-clicking my mouse. I think my mouse is getting less responsive, because I've been using it for a really long time. Um, and so it's not as reliable as it used to be, and we are definitely playing uh, as the underdog right now. We do not have much of an advantage at all. I mean, Lightning Strike is a nice asset, but we can't really take advantage of it. Uh, healing is up there. I'd like to grab that. Let's do it. No, he's got it. Okay, then let's go hide. Barricade heal. Okay. Okay, we're good. We're getting plenty of healing from it. And now it's a level playing field. Okay, here we go. We can take this guy down now. We have the advantage, actually, in health. Fantastic. Um, come on. Oh, gosh. 
I think I got a little bit of lag there, because I saw the particle effect, and then suddenly he was really far away. Okay, he's low. We can take him down. Double damage has spawned. We need to take him down before he gets it. Come on. Yes, he's so low. There we go. All right. We've won all but one of our games today, I think, right? Yeah. We're doing good, and we're getting a lot of keys. Let's use another one here. Uh, can I right-click on the chest, please? I'm hitting right-click, right? I just left-clicked to make sure my mouse was working. Okay, uh, 134. Honestly, I'm pretty pleased. Like, 11 sucks, but 156 and 134, that's great. It's a really nice thing. I'm, I'm happy. I would much rather get that than hats. All right, well, it looks like we're not going to have anybody joining our lobby, so I'm going to teleport back. Um, I'd say today was a really good day of Arena Brawl. We did a good job. Teleport canceled? Oh, I right-clicked twice by accident, didn't I? Yeah. I'd say today was a really good day. We won a lot of games, uh, so overall a strong performance. Anyway, guys, I hope you have enjoyed. Please remember to like and subscribe if you did. This has been Lee Call Donuts speaking. Goodbye, friends. And I will see you all next time with some more Hypixel minigames and Arena Brawl.